you thinking about making a move to Seal Beach, California? Well, in this video, I am going to drive you around the hill neighborhood of Seal Beach, California. And stick around to the end, you might learn something. Let's get to it right now. Okay, so right now we are in the Pavilions parking lot. So the Pavilions is a grocery store, the only grocery store in, in Old Town in the Hill. Uh, to my left here we have um, uh, your CVS pharmacy. Now, you know, I say that's the only grocery store um, in Old Town in the Hill area, but you, there's other grocery stores that are close, like right across into Long Beach, there's one. Uh, up here on your left, you have Finbar's, uh, very, very good, authentic Italian food. Um, man, oh, I'm getting hungry just thinking about it, but, and the, and the owners are super nice people, like awesome people. Um, you also have a, a nail salon over here, uh, like a, a shipping place, and then here's your pavilions um, straight ahead of us. So. You'll, you'll see how close it is uh, in proximity if you're actually living on the hill. Um, you, know, you can walk to it. A lot of people down in Old Town and the Hill have um, uh, golf carts. Uh, they're street legal golf carts, uh, I should say. And they take their golf carts and they, you know, they don't even pull their car out of the garage. Most of the time they just take their golf carts all over. Um, but it has to have a license plate on it, so. Just keep that in mind. Real quick, if this is your first time to the channel, subscribe and tap the notification bell so that you'll be the first to know about the real estate market in Southern California. My name is Steve Batiz and I'm the broker owner of Next Home West Realty. And we get calls, emails, and texts every single day from people just like you looking to make their move into Southern California. So if that's you, don't be shy. Give me a call, send me a text, or shoot me an email. I'd love to help you make a smooth transition into the area. So I'm gonna take a left on uh, Balboa right now. So basically what we did was we're on Bolsa. Now Bolsa will go down uh, behind me and wrap around, uh, I, I'm sorry, not wrap around, but turn to the left and you'll pass a, a, a bank on your right side and that's gonna be, once you go across PCH, that's Main Street. So basically you go up Main Street and go straight across and you're on Balsa right there. And Balsa, you know, goes down to the end and it comes out like right in front of the Naval Weapons Station uh, housing complex. And I'll show you that in a minute too. But a lot of these homes in here, um, again, because they're so many different uh, sizes and varieties and all in one place. A lot of uh, neighborhoods in Southern California, you can pretty much say, well, this whole neighborhood is gonna be, you know, you can get in this neighborhood for between, you know, seven to uh, 1.1 or seven to nine. Well, not here. Some of these homes down here, uh, you can get into for about 1.6 and up. I've seen some up here for 5 million, but I mean, of course the house was, you know, huge with an underground parking garage um, so just keep that in mind if you're looking in this area and you have a budget and you know you might think well you know how am I going to get to Seal Beach for 1.6 well, down in Old Town it's going to be very very rare but up on the hill you can usually find them and of course you're you know we're literally to get it, you know, start walking right now, you're in Old Town in five minutes. So, um, awesome place. Now, uh, we're up here, this, this home right here um, on the right just sold for, I think right around, it was close to $3 million. I think one of the things that was holding it back was it didn't have a, uh, uh, it doesn't have a garage on it, but it's a round house. It's kind of a unique house up on the hill, so. Now we're going down Beachcomber right now. Um, really nice street. 
and you know during during the uh, the holidays, uh, you know up here on the hill they have like huge haunted houses, and you know uh, it, it gets really uh, crowded in the streets with people walking, you know going taking their kids trick or treating, going to the haunted houses. It's kind of cool, you know. It's a very tight knit community, and uh, you know people really uh, a lot of people have been here for a long time, so they really know each other and. You know, as you, you can see right here on the right, they're starting to decorate for Halloween. So, and we're just cruising right along. Okay, there we go. And as we come up here, I'm gonna take you up just a little bit further. Um, you know, there's quite a few homes back uh, up on the hill. Um, it's, you know, a lot of, uh, you know, there's intricate roads uh, all over, like back behind me. You also have Gum Grove Park, which is back there, which is a huge, you know, outdoor park. Um, this is the um, Magaw Elementary School. So this is technically the only school in Seal Beach. Um, Seal Beach is part of the Los Alamitos um, Unified School District. So if you're, you know, if your kid's going to middle school or high school, there is no middle school or high school actually in Seal Beach. So just keep that in mind too. But Los Alamitos Unified School District is a great school district. So now we're, we're actually coming up behind Pavilion's uh, shopping center. So again, same thing over in this neighborhood. Some of these homes over here are, um, you know, 1.5, 1.6 range uh, on a, depending on the house going to go down here and there's you know there's there's a uh, pretty much this whole area is residential um, with the exception of the pavilions um, um, shopping center all of this over here is going to be you know single-family homes I'm there might be a few apartments up here, but for the most part, I'm gonna say 90% uh, of the time, you're gonna have single family homes. So, you know, you can kind of see, like this house on the left is huge. And as you go up on the right, some of these homes are a little bit older. You have, um, again, there's pavilions back there. So these homes are kind of backed up to it. Um, so, you know. Just, just keep that in mind if you're looking to move into this area. Uh, there are actually, I'm gonna say probably about as many homes go on the market up in, uh, uh, on the hill that you know they do in Old Town. So not too many, not too often. If you see something, uh, you wanna take a look at it, you know, just reach out to me, uh, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. I would love to help you out. Uh, anything in this area, around this area, matter of fact, Southern California, uh, if, you, if you have any information, I've lived here for a long time. Um, I've lived all over Southern California, so if you need any information, um, just have questions, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, and I would love to help.